Thank you very much for your time. The Finder newspaper says, chaos, anger, as students present, uh, pregnant women collapse while seeking SHS placement. NIA has registered 2.9 Ghanaian, um, uh, 2.9 million Ghanaians in three regions. EC to procure 30 million Ghana dollars election software. Ghana strike first cocoa deals with 400, um, with 400 dollars living income premium. The Ghanaian Times. Senior high school placement challenges. Parents, students, besieged center. Takradi kidnapped girls, murdered. Police. I killed my son for rituals. Father confesses. And let's replicate Zoom Lions, uh, IACOP nationwide. Parliamentary Select Committee demands. The Daily Guide. Ibrahim chases bauxite deal. A breed chief recuses uh, Japanese woman or rescues, I beg your pardon, Japanese woman. Uh, NDC angry with Otufo. Want to meet once may share action on Mahama and Tadi girls' families demand DNA report. Daily graphic. Australia visa scandal. Corporates not prosecuted. Documents from High Commission not received. Moves to boost depositors' confidence. Deposit Insurance Protection Corporation starts operations in October. Parents, students, clamor for SHS placement at the Black Star Square. And Tadi missing girls dead. Uh, that's the banner headline, the front page of the Daily Graphic. It says DNA tests confirm. My guest this morning, the Honorable Hassan Suhini, is the MP for Tamale North, and also Mr. Eric Chum. He is a member of the NPP's communication team. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, mm -hmm. gentlemen. It's a sad day for me. I am both angry and disappointed, but I don't know which of the emotions to express at this point. Um, and it is simply because for for many of us who believed that the Ghana police service could rescue the three Takradi girls and the last one who was found were told yesterday to our faces that the girls are dead and i'm thinking how do we marry the two two information that we received from the police that says we know where they are and we will reunite them keep on keeping on to holding on and telling us later that, look, the girls are dead. I don't know, Eric. You, you take the first bite. <clears throat> well, um, good morning to yourself, and good morning to uh, my friend, Honorable Suhini, and then to the viewers of um, TV3 this morning. Um, I'd also take this opportunity to still empathize with the families and friends of these girls um, as a parent <clears throat> it's almost impossible for me to um, appreciate what they are going through and uh, in times like these uh, we just pray that um, the good Lord himself would uh, comfort them as we go along and like they say um, time heals um, when these things happen it's also easy to sort of try and find somebody to blame and apportion blame. Um, I think, for instance, that in terms of the security of the state or, and the people that live in it, is the ultimate responsibility of um, the state to look after them. Uh, so when uh, fingers are pointed, uh, maybe it's legitimate, but we also have to glean some uh, lessons from these uh, and say that, well, uh, even when it happened, uh, some of the things that transpired along the way were things that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, majority of the people were unprofessional. One issue of the main suspect actually uh, being able to jump uh, uh, jail and had to be rearrested. And even the whole communication surrounding the whole episode is something that um, Everybody, I mean, most well-meaning people will say that leaves much to be desired. Uh, but it's a very sad, uh, I mean, if you like, uh, conclusion to the matter. Uh, we are all hoping that uh, well and truly uh, we'll be able to reunite the girls with their various families. Uh, I've had a lot of commentary and sometimes even from people who um, are meant to know better that they do not believe that it's well what the police are saying 
is the case without um, other, if you like, alternative uh, evidence to back that. I believe that, again, there's still opportunity for the family and the police and other uh, stakeholders to interact and find some, if you like, solution. I'm not sure there's any real solution to this uh, in a case where we're almost thinking that there's a certain finality to the matter. Mm. But I've always admonished that we need to even uh, activate some kind of counseling and some psychological... The, the police uh, promised the families that <coughs> it didn't happen. In fact, the police had promised the families that they would give them the information ahead. Uh, no. So, ahead, so, 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 that, so that they will be well aware and not hear the death of their relatives in public like everyone else. No, but the, I, families, I, I, the, families, I, the families say they were called around 7.15, pretty much around the same time the police was there to, to make their public announcement. So no psychological help was given to them. And Johnny. they heard it in the public, Johnny. and as we found there, like everybody Johnny, else. Johnny, you see, and I'm, and I'm thinking, conjecturing no, we're and not, uh, let, we're me, not, let me make my uh, point. I, I, I think I that you invited slow me down, here. Slow down, slow down. I'm supplying information to okay. you. Okay, but I, I also have information I am not to the country. I'm not conjecturing, okay. and we could play Eric Yaweje's video. Mm. Yesterday, around the same time, the police was making the announcement, mm. and the families couldn't have lied. They said, the police have not called us. No, but then I, that's what I'm saying that I, I don't really want us to do back and forth. I think that is a, an extremely sensitive matter and uh, there's absolutely no justification for any individual to lose their lives in the manner that these girls mm. have lost. So I'm not going to sit here and try and uh, justify anything. All I'm saying is that there's also uh, information that suggests that some police officials were in the various residences mm. of the family before the press conference was done. Mm. You have alternative information based off some uh, in interview that you have done. Mm. I mean, it's open to uh, maybe further uh, clarification, but I'm saying that in all of these things, it's unfortunate that we got to this point. In terms of the things that we say that the police promised and all of those things, when it comes to investigations of this nature or uh, crimes that have been committed of this nature. It becomes extremely fluid. I mean, if you follow some of these things, the perpetrators themselves mm. would lead the police on a certain wild goose chase, if you want to put right. it that way, mm. in a direction that would make it difficult for them to find out that the crime has been committed. Mm. I've seen uh, uh, videos and uh, uh, documentaries of the perpetrators themselves mm. actually being part of the search party to look for their victims. Have you been yeah, satisfied with the way the police had conducted uh, this investigation on the back of the fact that the police has become overly defensive and when we ask questions they say we don't know policing. Now they give us assurance and then when we are putting their foot, we are holding their foot to the fire of that assurance, they say we are being too hard. Have you been satisfied with in, how the police see, prosecuted this investigation? The, the hope for everybody, like I reiterated, was that we would have found the girls alive and reunited have them. Have you been with satisfied let with me, the way the let police... Me make, let me make my point. No, no, you've said that before. Yes, I'm yeah, asking yeah. you a direct question now. But have you I'm been saying satisfied with the way the police, the police did that investigation? I'll go back to the police statement. The police the <laughs> statement issued by the IGP that suggests that there was a ring that was perpetrating some, uh, if you like, serial mm. uh, killing of young girls for all sorts of purposes and their investigations was able to one apprehend the culprits and they believe that this thing as unfortunate as it is will not happen again I stated categorically that the certain aspects of the whole saga that I was unhappy about one issues to do with the if you like the unprofessional mm -hmm. communication <coughs> of it and an initial lack of interaction with the families in terms of what was going on to give them, if you like, a blow-by-blow blow mm. account of what's going on. And then again, the fact that I haven't seen anything, and if somebody has, or the police mm. will be called to do so, anything that has been done to the officers mm. who were at the police station that right. the victim, in uh, right. the that the, 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 the suspect who was in police custody mm. was um, 
able to escape mm. and what had come out of it. I, it happens that the same officers were tasked to go and look for the, mm. uh, the, the culprit mm. and they found him within record time, which means that uh, in all of these things, if a little bit more of dispatch, mm -hmm. a lot of work had gone into it, maybe a different outcome would have uh, been realized. Okay. But in all of these, like again, you say that even when it's unfortunate and it happens, the way we deal with it, it's something that should be a lesson to all the security agencies that we have in this country, in this country especially the police. Mm -hmm. And then even give us an indication of a new set of protocols or things that they put in place that whilst we don't expect that or we don't wish for these things to happen, mm. to give us some kind of comfort that uh, some of these things will be dealt with with okay. alacrity. Thanks. So any, the word on the streets that, well, the police perhaps are throwing us a red herring. So we get to take our minds off other things <clears throat> and follow them to the point where they want us to be led. But my question again from Eric to you is, have you been satisfied with the way the police have conducted themselves in trying to rescue these ladies who are now dead? Well, um, we have already exchanged pleasantries, but let me say good morning to Eric and the viewers, especially the very good people of the Tamalino uh, uh, constituency. Um, no, I don't think that any um, reasonable person will be satisfied mm. with the handling of you know this matter by the Ghana police service what would have been ideal would have been for the girls to be found alive mm. and so you know in the absence of that nothing can be considered satisfactory mm. in the way that you know the police have handled this matter especially given the very suspicious <coughs> you know um, way mm -hmm. that things have been handled i mean how do you mean it leaves it leaves it leaves people to 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 conjecture and you know um theorize and sometimes imagine that perhaps like you have said uh, there is something fishy and these are just red herrings mm -hmm. i mean the, it is all because of the way the whole matter has been handled mm -hmm. it lends itself to such interpretations, mm. such suspicions. Mm. And I don't fault anybody who will hold, you know, all kinds of theories about why this may be happening. Mm. It mm. is simply because of the way, you know, the police, you know, uh, have handled this matter. I think that it is proper to still extend our heartfelt condolences to the families and, uh, you know, relatives and friends of, of these girls, you know, uh, 18 and below, mm. they would have been in school with friends. Right. All of them would be distraught. Mm. And I think that it is appropriate that as we discuss this matter, we remember all of them and, you know, uh, urge that people who know them, you know, give them the necessary psychological mm. support mm. that they will require at this time. Mm. It, is, it is very depressing thinking about what the families may be going through at right. this point. I mean, uh, having hope for over a year and that's just been dashed by a single announcement such as the one that was done yesterday and the conflicting reports of whether they were even, you know, uh, properly engaged mm -hmm. before the press mm -hmm. conference still adds to what I said earlier about the poor handling mm -hmm. of, of this whole, you know, matter. But it's it's it still it still leaves room for a lot of questions. I for mean, example, what's on your mind? I, I'm wondering. I mean, so why did it take us this long to establish that the girls indeed had been killed? I mean, the police would tell you you don't know policing. Leave the job for us to do. Please have I, confidence in I, us. I I I don't know policing. I understand, mm -hmm. but I know I ought to feel safe because mm. those who know policing are paid by my taxes. Mm. So they ought to do things that will make me feel safe. Mm. And if I see things done in a manner that doesn't assure me of my safety, I have every right mm. to, you know, be concerned. And so I'm wondering why did it take us this long to, f 
to, 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 to come to the conclusion that these girls had been killed long ago. In fact, if you look at the whole issue, it's as if even at the time that the police were assuring us that they knew where these girls were and they were bringing them home to unite with their families, mm. it seems to me that the girls had already been killed. So I, I, I just can't imagine mm. how the CID boss, for example, will be comfortable enough this morning to put on her uniform, her cap, and walk to the office. Why not? Please. She says, look, I, I remain a police person. You see, you see I remain in a, a police person. In a, in a serious country, mm. in a serious country, not because she's guilty of anything, but the conscience <coughs> Should I mean her conscience should be able to prick her, mm. to 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 demonstrate a certain level of remorse, mm. that will appease the good people of Ghana, and send a message that, look, I wish this didn't happen. I'm sorry I failed you, Ghana. You know something, mm. even if nobody says it's her fault. In a very serious country, mm -hmm. you will not have the CID boss feeling very proud in her uniform mm -hmm. and a cop going to work this morning. The, the police you see, the IGP says we should collaborate with them uh, and, and gender confidence from the side of the public. He called on the media to, to support them to deliver excellently. And so asking for Tiwa to go, uh, well, don't you think it, it could break... You see, I'm not, I, I'm not asking for her to go. No, no, you are not asking I'm for not. it. I mean, the, just, streets, the streets are asking. You are saying that if, if in any other country, yeah. she wouldn't feel comfortable yeah. putting on her yeah. uniform to go to yeah. work. Now, I'm trying to measure that what IG, acting IGP says, that, look, uh, give us more confidence. Push us there, and we will deliver ex excellently. I agree with the IGP that we need to collaborate with the police to deliver on their mandate. Mm. We also need to... Uh, you know, do things that will encourage them. But they also have a part to play mm. in the confidence building. They have a part to play. Mm. And Johnny, one of the ways I guarantee you to build confidence is for leadership to accept blame and get sacrifice for it. Mm. I mean, when you have an institution where leadership is bold enough to say, look, I failed, and I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and I don't think I need to be here because of the fact that I failed mm -hmm. you. That engenders a lot of confidence in that institution. Right. But if you have an institution mm -hmm. where things are swept under the carpet, matters are handled, you know, like it is light, mm -hmm. and business as usual, mm. you're not going to have the level of confidence that is expected for you to run your affairs, no matter how much your publics, mm. you know, support. You're not going to have that confidence that you need. Okay. So it, 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 it is in the IGP's court. Mm. It is in Mrs you know, uh, 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 Adudawa, her name, the other one. No, no, you don't know. Her missus, I mean, she's her missus. Yes, Mrs. but you don't, you don't know her name. Is it Adudanka? Yes, I mean, it is in her court. Mm. She, she should take that decision, mm. you know, to, 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 to mm. engender confidence. Would, would you say Ghana that yesterday, uh, the acting IGP addressing the press conference and uh, Tiwa being on the side, could mean that perhaps she's she's withdrawing. No, would you say? No, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, there's no way. It means nothing. It's it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it only means that yes, the IG saw that this was you know um, um, a bigger issue that needed his presence. Mm -hmm. But you don't obviously expect you know the CID director to be addressing a gathering where the IG is present. Mm. It is only the normal protocol okay. that once the IGP mm. is there, 
he will if the CID is there with him, right. the CID will have no role to play unless okay. he's assigned a role by the by the CID. So I just think that I think that not because she is wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've heard people say that perhaps she was misled, but misled see, by who? By who? She should know better. If you have a CID that cannot, you know, decipher. You know, uh, 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 I mean, a CID boss who cannot distinguish between false information mm. and accurate information, mm. that also leaves much to be desired. So, no excuse at this stage, I think, will wash. I, I, I feel very depressed as a parent, too, and I cannot just even begin to imagine what the families are going through. The police have disappointed them badly. Mm. They have disappointed the nation badly. And I, I still want to know, I mean, how did this happen? Who were those involved? Mm. How did they do it? We all need to know because exactly. you see, you have, you, have, you have sisters, you have children, you have, you have, you have uh, sons, you have daughters out there. You still need to know how this happened right. so that at least you can even advise your children mm. and also you know, urge them to be on the lookout for some of these things. How did it happen that one person or two people or three people at different times mm -hmm. managed to kidnap these girls and took them to a single location because as it is imagined, mm -hmm. the bones were found at, at one, one place. place. Took them to a single location. Mm -hmm. Remember, they were not kidnapped together. They were kidnapped at different times, different, different locations. August, you know, some three months apart, four months apart. How did it happen? We need to know how this happened so that you know, families the will be guided. Question to the police. Eric, the, the conversation also is that yesterday the president made a call to the families. Uh, and the voice on the streets is saying that, look, the president went to the Western region. He didn't go to the homes of these people all through this time. Uh, they are not aware if the president had made a call to the families to uh, reassure them, to console them. But suddenly, uh, now that we know that they are dead, the president made a call. Of what use is this call when they have lost it all? That's the question. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think that um, when it comes to these things, again, I, I urge some kind of caution the way we communicate it. Um, I know. That's why I was a bit defensive when mm. you suggested that uh, the families got to know about the results at 7.15, mm. when I knew for a fact that there were some police officers in the homes of the families. And um, of course, I have no indication that um, a call was put through. I mean, uh, this thing is fluid. It just happened overnight. Um, but. I mean, as president, I mean, when these things happen, mm -hmm. um, he has what you call the the right to be able to try and mm -hmm. console the parents and everything. It's also not uh, true that the president has not shown concern in this matter. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that even as far back as last year or so, in the State of the Nation address, mm -hmm. he spoke about this thing. Um, there are so many different senior government officials who uh, by dint of where they work in the western region, have interacted with the families. Uh, I think that after a while, when there was a certain disjoint in the communication between the families and the police, for instance, uh, some uh, liaison officers were put in place to make the communication much more better. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, uh, there's like uh, what the Americans would say, uh, it's Monday, morning quarterbacks mm -hmm. uh, after the game. It's always hindsight is always um, a good thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's early mornings, otherwise I'd use the, the British phrase. But okay. so it's hindsight, maybe when it happened, uh, a lot more uh, communication should have happened. But so many things happen in so many different places. And even this particular case, I remember that, I think after a month or so, that's when what some of the media houses actually took interest in the matter mm. and tried to bring it to the public mm. domain in terms of the girls missing because as far as I was concerned, apparently uh, in terms of reporting that they were missing and everything it took, there was a certain 
lapse right. in timing and all of those things. You can all glean, like I say, lessons from these things. And when it happens, sometimes that would one, we're talking about making sure that mm -hmm. it engenders some level of either policy direction or the way the police works, mm -hmm. how government reacts to these things, uh, the support system that we put in place to make sure that even if it does happen, we're able to apprehend the corporates. Some security infrastructure, uh, I've heard the police talk about CCTV and all of those mm -hmm. things. You remember the Canadian incident? Right. It happened that um, there was some CCTV uh, architecture mm -hmm. around the areas where they were kidnapped right. and that actually uh, it helped mm. in uh, apprehending the corporates in, in local if, time. If, so if the, if the vice president promised to get every police station in Ghana have a CCTV, we would by now know how the suspect uh, in the matter of the three Takradic girls escaped jail. Well, I one, think if, if one, I think one year more down. I think if you asked me this before, yes. I'm, so I'm, next, I'm submitting to you that yes. perhaps so if next the time, next had, time had made his promise see, good, uh, we would know see, uh, how Samuel uh, Wills got out of pre, pre well, broke jail. Yeah, maybe, we would know. Maybe, maybe. Don't you yeah, think? Right. But I, I think that, mm. again, the CCTV did not exist before. I know that government has actually, uh, since we become, have installed CCTV okay. uh, in certain we'll, we'll strategic switch the topic, places so let's in, in, have in, in the country. And then. So for me, again, that is a call that let's up the ante. Let's activate technology because we're in the era where there's enough technology okay. to support us in this, okay. and then uh, make the uh, the people feel a lot bit more mm. safer. And then also from the police itself, this should be a lesson to everybody that this is 2019. So mm. some of the even the posturing mm. that we we don't know policing and we know policing mm. and all of those things is something that I think that has to be astute mm. and communication in these things actually helps a lot in terms of even getting the public to Updates. bring mm. information to the police mm. when the thing is happening because most of the information that leads to the apprehending of uh, suspects mm. comes from the public. Exactly. You know, so they need to activate and all of this. And I expect that maybe every time we get an opportunity like mm. this, we can use two or three minutes to find out from the police itself exactly what new ways they are bringing on board to help okay. us. Great, thank you. So, Indy, same question to you. What's the essence of the call when the police of the ladies have lost it all? I think it's worthless. Completely worthless. You know, you remember on this same platform mm -hmm. when this issue started. I made the point around the time that the president saw the need to invite the Black Stars coach mm -hmm. to intervene, you know, in the matter that had to do with the selection of Asamoja right. or not into the Black Stars. Mm -hmm. I made the point on this platform. I see sometimes it gets so painful and so uh, disturbing that we think that everything is just partisan politics. Mm -hmm. And really, when you are you know, uh, calling on people who are mandated to perform <coughs> responsibilities that they are taxed to perform, mm -hmm. it is just mere politics and it is, it is not necessary. But I thought that at the time that if the president thought that it was that important to convey an emergency meeting between himself and the Black Stars coach mm. to resolve a matter as simple as, you know, Asamajan being made the captain of the Black Stars or not. I think that, yeah. yeah I thought you're not, at the you're time. You're debasing the conversation. You because see, you see, does that, it mean that allow, everything allow, that happened under your allow, watch, you allow him, the go, one allow president might have allowed you everybody. Allow, go. Allow, him, allow him to make Eric, his point. I think that you want a very decent conversation. Eric, allow him to make his point. Yeah, I mean, but you want to rebuttal, you if you go. want a rebuttal, yes. you can get it. But there you go. I mean, come there on. you go. Is the Black Stars more important than the lives of these three that. girls? I'm saying that you are... Is it? Is that what you are saying? So if the president had time to call an emergency meeting on that, and one suggested that he should have called a security meeting on this matter to give it all the attention that it needed, mm -hmm. then it is debasing. Well, really? so you are, you're saying that the because the lives of these girls are debasing, it doesn't matter. The president shouldn't have raised the antenna like he did with the black stars. I mean, let's get serious. I'm saying that if the president, I'm not saying that the president should have gotten involved by all means. Mm. 
No, it is not every time that you require your commander in chief to get you know, in front of the action. Perhaps the president trusted the people he had appointed I to, am saying to, to that, deal with the matter. You see, you see this, also, so. this also had a psychological aspect of it. Right. And so, and, and fighting crime mm. is not always with the boots on the ground. Okay. Sometimes it is the body language, the communication that you also send out has an impact on whether you succeed or not. Mm. So, I believe at the time, when we still had time, mm. and perhaps, who knows, the girls may have, may have still been alive, mm. that if we had treated it with the same urgency and seriousness with which we treated other, other issues, mm. who knows, that psychological effect mm. it would have even had on the investigators could have brought us something better. Okay. So if all of that was not done, mm. and it was considered debasing, then I wonder what you will call this call. Playing to the gallery? I okay. mean, the call that has now come after the death of these girls, mm. playing to the gallery? Because if you didn't think that it was important mm. for the president to have intervened at the time that I suggested it, mm. and you want to say this, how will you treat this call that has come after the death of these girls? Okay. Playing to the gallery, I think. Your thoughts and comments always on WhatsApp, 020216 But uh, yesterday, when Delay was at the Independence Square, forget about the fact that I've reported to you twice that the Independence Square is collapsing. It has cracks all over. Forget about that one. The, the latest issue is that you have parents and their children and out there, the hot sun running up and down, trying to get themselves to school. And yesterday, I, I, I heard a young lady say that, well, if her mother would be pushed to collapse, which she's sure, she would rather stay at home than go to school. We'll take a look at that, but Crystal is here with some messages. Crystal, what are they saying on WhatsApp this morning? Um, good morning, Johnny. It's sad when we live in our own country, yet get kidnapped. Where is the freedom and justice the coat of arms speak of? The CID boss should be sacked for deceiving Ghanaians. An ordinary Ghanaian would have been charged with causing fear and panic. The dwarf and elephant must go. Mm. Pent up inside Kofsan. Wow. The CID boss must, um, be, must be sacked immediately for giving false information to the girl's family and also misleading the public with regards to these innocent girls. What pains me the most is the way the police handle the situation. This is from Anafi in Tamale. Johnny, I think that the conclusion from the police was forthcoming because how on earth were people, how on earth people kidnapped months up, apart end up in the same pit? Poor policing. Ima from La. Mm. Hmm. What a sad day for Ghana. For me, the police did not take the matter very seriously. Um, they over relied on what the suspects were saying rather than brooding on their own investigation. And as for Madame Tiwa, she should be sacked immediately. Condolences to their families from Abdul Rahman. Fuseni in Yendi. Good morning, dear panelists. Please, I think Madame Tiwa should be prosecuted for the murder of the girls since the Attorney General herself confirmed that her comments, we know where they are and are alive, put the lives in, their lives in danger. John Major from Ashaiman. And lastly, Adam Hardy Saxes Tamale says, very disheartening. I am so sad. But truly speaking, the CID boss should volunteer and resign for her misleading statements. No politics here, but she goofed and has to pay the price for it. May their souls rest in peace. May their souls rest in peace, Crystal. Mm. Thank you very much. And we're moving on to the matter I spoke to you about. <laughs> if uh, the frustrations have been captured by Wendy Lai, take a look at it. When we come back, we'll have a quick discussion on that. I'm currently at the Black Stars when there are hundreds of parents and their wards here who are seeking answers to questions and need their wards appropriately placed on the CSSPS. Now, when you look at their faces, it tells the expression of sadness and stress as well. I tried getting up there for answers from, a, from the appropriate authorities, but as you have at the entrance, it's choked. We arrived at the Black Star Square at about 9.30 a.m. We got up early as 3 a.m. to come here. Even that, we did not get a number. We were asked to go to another place. In the process, I was pushed and collapsed. If the government can't do anything about that, yeah, I won't go to school again. I will stay home. Why? 
because the people here, some of them have been fighting with the soldiers and police. And my mother said she can't fight. When she was going, uh, some people pushed her and she collapsed. Uh, eight months, and now I'm standing here. No, I'm 15, 17, I'm in school. Right. I collapsed for 14 years. I'm passing it. This year, I'm going to be a man. 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 I'm the managers of the placement system should let us know what is happening. We are losing our daily bread by coming here every day. For many, the queuing wasn't working as they gathered in groups sharing their frustrations. Anxious parents were of the view government must sit up to resolve this problem once and for all. They told us we should come here today so that they were think to the students who had um, from um, 10 Upwards. We've been here for almost six hours now, and yet there is no remedy for the situation. The situation has not been remedied. So I'm pleading the authorities concerned to find an amicable solution to this situation. Those who couldn't stand the test had to be rushed in an ambulance to save their lives. Some parents claimed they came from other regions as they were unaware of the various centers across the country. We later tried reaching officials of the Ghana Education Service, but to no avail. For the many affected by the placement system, it is a disturbing and frustrating situation, and they do not know where to turn to. Wendy Lai, TV3 News, Accra. Oh, well, and... Um... I don't know, but 14 years after running the system, should we be having such challenges, Eric? Um, I don't think so. I mean, um, again, um, as parents and guardians and even the students, um, I cannot understand how frustrating this would be. Uh, but for me, the, uh, the good thing is that the GES and the Ministry of Education tells us that there's enough space for the students. There's actually more space, I mean, vacancies in the various schools than the students that have actually So why, why didn't they get it? Well, I mean, I... In the first place? I listened to, I think it was a deputy uh, director general of the GES, mm -hmm. and he, um, I think it was on one of the platforms, I think it was a news file or something, mm -hmm. and he was making the point that uh, most of these things is actually the choices that has been made by the various students, okay. and that they have absolutely no, uh, what do you call it, power whatsoever to change it. And so the students who did not get the schools, I mean, some of them had chosen mm -hmm. all the schools, and by dint of the spaces available, did not get through. Would there, have there's, to there's one of the women uh, mothers in the tape that said that her child had eight, uh, and then she had chosen five schools. Clearly, I mean, eight, you should get one of your five choices. How do they explain yeah, that Yeah, but one that, those are, if you like, glitches within a system. I mean, those one, as far as I'm concerned, are things that can be resolved. I mean, uh, with my little uh, IT um, uh, knowledge, these are things that um, are glitches that can be found. Mm -hmm. It's a larger conversation surrounding the issue to do with uh, self-placement, where, I mean, after going through the process and not being placed by the computer, uh, you're now able to look at the various schools that had vacancies and then do a self-placement. And that's where apparently the challenges actually started. And, and, I, and I, thought that, I thought that the whole idea of selecting five schools, because we selected three schools, mm -hmm. the whole idea of selecting five schools was to make up for these Yes, but then it, it happens that, I mean, I don't speak for them, but then I try to um, have an understanding of why we got here. It happens that, for instance, um, I don't have the specific figures, but if you choose a school and 7,000 or so students have chosen the school and um, they have specific spaces in terms of even, for instance, you're doing science, okay. right? So they would have a certain number of spaces for science students, right? And then uh, 
you are not able to get through because of your raw score. So even though they have the eight ones, uh, if they do a certain grading, mm -hmm. uh, it happens that uh, your raw scores do not uh, match that of the other mm -hmm. students, which means that you automatically are going to your second right. uh, choice, mm -hmm. which also means that you have to go through the same process. So for the ones who are qualified who had the right results and they couldn't go through, like I'm saying, it might be an issue to do with a glitch in the system. But the self-placement itself, looking at the uh, communication that came, that they had some challenges with the self-placement. Mm -hmm. And even though when the parents go and do the self-placement, they are attached to a particular school, mm -hmm. it happens that the system, after re exactly. rebooting it, exactly. it changes, changes, it. changes right. So. All I would say that because they have given us a certain comfort that there's enough spaces, mm. they have to work with dispatch. I mean, I'm sure that overnight they were working uh, to they, foster they, the they, issues. There's space, Again, there's space, but the the gold track are beginning. They're, yes, they're I, 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 so, I, so I, I'm I, losing contact hours, and you're telling me there's space. No, no, I understand, I, but I, I would understand. <laughs> but, you, but you will not understand, yeah. and I, I'm not saying that. It will be uh, a pleasant experience for any parent or any child. And I'm saying that because they say there's enough spaces, I think, I think that a couple of days ago, last week when I was here, we had this conversation. And I'm saying that this whole idea that uh, parents or even the students themselves should take this thing into their own hands mm -hmm. and place themselves, place themselves, especially when they have issues, is something that is a bit problematic, especially even when it comes to the rural areas or people who are just not... Uh, IT mm. uh, conversation right. uh, uh, and, and bereft of a certain mm. basic I, uh, IT knowledge should be given an opportunity to also uh, support, uh, be supported. Mm. So why don't they use the various uh, basic uh, GSS, for instance, that the students go to? <coughs> because yeah. that becomes a touch point. Exactly. You know, and that if there are any issues, what happens is that, for instance, you have 300 kids going through a particular GSS, for instance, and there are any issues, you would have just a small number that can be dealt with. And then the school would be able to support them. This whole idea of like a, almost like a free-for-all thing mm -hmm. is something that probably should look at. Okay. Again, so, let, let, another, let. another issue that I think, I, if, for instance, there are issues to do, I hear that there was a change in software, for instance, mm -hmm. and if it's the one that is actually given the challenge, it then has to be reviewed so that we don't go, to, like you're saying, it's a system that was brought in to uh, take away the whole human right. factor. Mm. Because we've also had challenges. I, think, I mean, I even think it, I as think far back. It's worsened it rather. No, I don't think so. You see, it's Johnny, it. it is okay. Yesterday, to, yesterday, it, Johnny, yesterday Johnny, I went to Johnny. the Independence Square and I saw parents running to and fro. They were being disrespected. And, no, and Johnny, abused. Johnny. And I, no, I'll, I, tell, I'll tell you I'm, why. So I'll tell you why. And I started by saying that I'm so angry and sad when I started the program. Now, you have parents gathered at one point. They are in an organized queue. An official comes and says, you are not supposed to be here. You are supposed to have gone to that table. And then they run. No, but... So, so that explains why people were collapsing and all of that. No, but I mean, I, what kind of patriotism would you be expecting from students who are made to go through this ordeal? No, as a country, what kind of patriotism Johnny, are you looking for? I, I, I will not sit here and say that um, it will be pleasant. Like I, I'm, I'm basically repeating myself, and I'm saying that even as it has happened now, right? We can take some lessons from this, and that hope that it doesn't happen okay. again. Let, but again, we, told our time we also is, is we also have an issue where we we sort of project mm. the negatives, which is fine, but. I mean, 85% or so of the students who wrote the BEC have been placed. And the 15% and so, the yeah, who so, will be writing the same SSE with these no, guys are in the sun, losing contact hours, no, and not that, finding a school. Nobody has, That's a problem. No, nobody has actually... Nobody, I I'm mean, sure, I'm nobody sure, will I'm sure you are Christian. Nobody will count. You should care about the one sheep. No, but, but, but it doesn't, it doesn't, that you're I mean, saved. it doesn't look like Correct. they are not being Correct. cared for. I'm saying that they put a system you, in place. You, but you are a Christian. Put, I am a Christian. You should be considered by I the am. one sheep that is lost. No, no, lost but that's just what I'm saying. That. I think you're being unfair. You're being unfair to me. I'm saying that the GES states, right, states that mm -hmm. there's it's enough spaces. Okay. They have to act in, with this Thank part. Thank you very much. So that so, the so frustrations mm -hmm. of the parents and the children would come to a halt. So, so Ine, let's let's uh, take the other side of the conversation where 
the voice on the street again are saying that, look, it is easier to take care of day students in a free SHS program than to take care of boarders because you will feed them morning, night, and day. That will amount to over 1,000 cities. But for day students, maximum maybe 50 cities to take care of them. So, uh, if you will, some hands are trying to make the students day students at all costs, which is why you have somebody moved from Atibubu to, say, Dorma in Kro, and they are giving a, a day school status when, in fact, they have nowhere to lay their heads. What do you say? Well, John, I wish we had time to discuss this matter. Uh, you know, I'm a trained teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my first profession. And so I tend to be very passionate about education. And again, I'm living proof of what education can do. And so I, I feel very, very disturbed about what is happening to our education uh, in general. Mm -hmm. Very, very disturbed. Look, our education is in crisis. How so? The full impact will be felt with time. And I feel so sad that we don't seem to even, you know, pay attention to the irrational and reckless manner in which education is being handled. Look, go to the primary and JHS. It's supposed to be free. Mm. Go to their schools and see what they are going through what? as if they have been forgotten. What are they going through? Look, children are lying on their bellies. Mm. Furniture, even in some cases, chalk for teachers to teach at that level mm. has become a problem. Primary school, sure? JHS, I am telling you. Are you still talking about chalk after? <laughs> I am telling you. You see, <laughs> it is <laughs> politics for you. It is not. It is life it's and death. for me, but I'm quite surprised that it you is are not. talking about chalk. Why, if, there's, if there's a problem with chalk, you shouldn't talk about it. Oh, okay. Because we play politics with it. Because we play very pedestrian make, politics make, make with it. Point, make your point. I don't think there's make, your, make, make your point. Do you understand? Make your point. I am saying that. I'm saying that if you go to the, to the, the, the JHS and primary schools today, mm -hmm. teaching learning materials have become worse. I know problems already existed in the past. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that it seems attention has all been shifted to a free SHS that is not solving our problem the teachers say they neglect. don't have they don't have the textbooks to, to teach the new curriculum. that's what i'm saying i'll get there i'm just talking about dhs and primary mm. i'm saying our entire education that's what i'm saying i wish we had time mm. our entire educational sector is in crisis so you move from there you even go to the training colleges mm. the teacher training colleges and the quota system has been introduced again when wow. we still need more <laughs> teachers in the classrooms because of an allowance that is not regular, mm. people who are qualified to go into the training college to train and come out and be teachers mm. are denied the opportunity. Touch, because touch on of, the independence question. I'll, I'll I'm get there. I'll, I'll, get time, there. Is, I'll get there. Is, uh, sorry about look, that. Look, and you see, you see what awaits us also no. at the university level? The no preparation. The inflows. No, no preparation what? for the large numbers Yanka, that will be coming Yanka from Yanka the... Professor was put uh, in just, a committee with four others to to think about that. They say they are doing that. It is sad. Honestly, it is sad that we don't have time to, to look at this. I can see that uh, you, are, you are wrapping me up quickly. Mm. But it is a matter that I think, as a nation, we must find time and space to look at. Because, you see, the fortunes of this country mm. largely depend on how well-educated our citizens become. And if we have such a sector in the crisis that it is engulfed in today, mm. I dare say mm. that the future is bleak. Look, I, I, when I, I was I, watching, I, when I was watching the document, I mean the the, the reports right. from the the, the, Windy. the, the, the mm. yeah from Windy yesterday and other reporters. First, the first thing that came to my mind, Johnny, to be honest, was your documentary mm. about the safety of the place right. and how. You know, anything could have happened. Mm. I prayed that we did not record any disaster because the structures there are not even, you know, per your report, yeah, weak. Mm. you know, good to support the pressure. Right. That, the, you know, the numbers, the numbers that, that were there. So I was, I was afraid when I was watching the pictures from, from the place. Thankfully, we have not heard of anything happening, you know, uh, in that regard yet. But 
technology is supposed to make life easier. Mm -hmm. So if you have an introduction of technology, mm -hmm. that is rather complicating issues and making matters worse, then what is the use of that technology? Like you just said, you and I, when we were leaving mm -hmm. JHS, we selected three schools. Right. And at the point of receiving your results from your JHS, you were told the school that, you know, mm -hmm. you were offered admission and you right. went to pay right. your admission fees mm -hmm. and went to school. So why should we be getting bad when we are supposed to be getting better as a country? Question, and, question, on, my and mind, again, question on my mind now is that the, if you look at the girls who have been kidnapped and who are all dead now, 15 years, 18 years, 21 years, 19 years, just around the ages of these youngsters who will right. be going to school. Right. Now, imagine if you had a daughter, a, nep a nephew, a niece, who is posted to a school that doesn't have a boarding facility, mm -hmm. and you even out of your own decide to, to go and rent, mm -hmm. and you leave that lady there. Mm -hmm. These people were living with their families, they were kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Now, you're putting your daughter out there in a rented mm -hmm. apartment. Mm -hmm. How safe is in your a, daughter, in Eric? A, in a, yeah, Eric, how safe is your daughter? I'm, I'm just no, asking. I think that you have, you've developed no. a pension for... I'm not uh, developing a pension. I'm asking. I'm asking, but I'm listen, asking critical listen, questions. Listen, you are. Yeah, but the point is that I'm still on the floor. Listen, listen, listen. I think that it's okay to to do that. But when you pan out to us... I thought I was still on the floor. When you pan out to us, those Eric, 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 you understand? Eric, you I know, I know, I know that. Listen, but you deliberately try to connect Relax. the two. Yes. And that is a bit Please. disingenuous. Eric, I mean, no, no. I'm allowed to say that. I'm, yes, I'm Eric. saying that. I'm saying Eric, that. Eric, can I ask you a question? The parents, the kids, listen, issues to do with kids Please, being... Eric, don't let politics... No, no, no. It's not about... Eric, oh, what's the, the point no, But I'm saying, that, see, I'm saying that. Is it you not have, something that you should, have, should you worry have parents? You have isolated incidents like that and it would be dealt with. Isolated? But this whole idea that... Listen, the system says that. If you, Eric, we you know, choose we your course, you choose your bo you, day or boarding, see, question, and then you are actually, no, my but the thing is, is that. Look, my question no. is that. Sweeney made a point. But he it's deliberate, and I have Eric, to call Eric, him out. Eric, it is. Eric, it's Eric, 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 it's Eric, 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 can you imagine? Let's listen. Let's expand that to Is it something you will not consider? Sweeney, hold on. Sweeney, hold on. Is it something you will not consider if your daughter is going to say in the Voltaire Day in Northern Region for a day school? Is it something you will not consider? I am saying that. I am saying that. This Don't is, let politics destroy your thinking. So, 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 Eric, Eric, you're suggesting to me that these, no these, these four girls, no these four girls, no these four girls, absolutely no Eric, as a parent, you wouldn't think Sweeney, about hold on, but Sweeney, hold on, Eric, can I ask you a question? As a parent, you wouldn't think about that. These four girls, forget about the votes that you may lose on No, 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 Sweeney, allow me, Look about, look at Sweeney, Sweeney, allow me. These four girls have classmates. Some of their classmates might have found Yeah, but I'm saying that I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that it is I'm not saying that it is that they should it have no it has absolutely the parents, it has absolutely, parents, absolutely wow. no correlation. I There's don't no see correlation. That. I don't see it. So so if you are I'm a shocked. young girl and, I don't and, see and you've been posted to a school and you can't find accommodation and your parent has to rent for you, Eric says there's no correlation I, at all. All I'm saying that okay. all you're trying to do is to basically uh, engender some kind of sensationalism. But I'm pointing This is sensational like, to me. There are isolated cases where the child has chosen boarding and for one reason or another they've been given day. The system has actually resolved it. How so did for they, you how did no, they resolve it? No, but Yesterday this, but we had an independent square. But, but see, People were standing in the yeah, sun. But this, Eric, that's what I'm saying. That. When the child, Eric, have you been in the, the sun? Listen. Have you been in the sun? I have. Why not? I mean, have you been in the sun at independent square? Listen, ah, the parents have chosen the schools. It happens that they have challenges with placement. Some of them have actually gone to do self-placement and have okay. chosen the day themselves. Okay, thank you. Our Honourable Alassane Suin is the Member of Parliament for Tamale North and Eric Chum is a member of the MPP's communication team. Uh, this morning, parents will be queuing at the Independence Square in the hot sun trying to choose school. We'll give you updates at midday. Eric says I've developed a pension for being sensational, but I'm asking a critical question. If you had a 19, 18, 20-year-old daughter who's been given a school that has no boarding facility and you have had to go and rent, you don't have relatives there, would you be scared or would you not be scared? Send us your thoughts and, and comments on WhatsApp 0202166633. We'll see you after the break.